Hi guys, this is your girl Wakaji Kamore and welcome to Reflections by Wakaji Kamore. <laughs> All right. Today we're going to be covering 2nd Chronicles chapter 4. And again as I like to mention, please pause this recording and read the chapter for yourself so then you get your own revelation, you get your own lessons and you know what is happening as in at the very least you will know what is happening in this chapter. All right. This chapter, yesterday we yesterday in chapter 3, we saw the construction happening. The construction of the temple has started. Like the exterior has been built, as foundations have been done, pillars have been done, you know, columns have been built, and they've been built with wood and they have been overlaid with gold. We looked at the out, out the exterior uh, part of the temple of the God of the Lord, which was strong and beautiful. Strong and strong and beautiful today we are going to be looking at the inward of the temple in this chapter solomon furnishes the temple and he's furnishing them with furnishing the temple with things like lamps with basins with tongs with snuffers with lampstands any everything that was needed in the temple is the time now too it's like when you build a house this is a time to put the light the fixtures the sockets the toilet the bathrooms evil those are the things that are happening now in this specific um specific stage of building the temple of the god the lord the furnishes are being built there was the basins there was basins for washing the utensils there was basins for uh washing the burnt offerings there was lamps there was la the snuffers of like a snuffer is like electuna to make a kuzima candle. <laughs> That's what a snuffer is. And the Bible tells us in this chapter that Solomon furnished this um, temple with gold things, not golden, not gold coated, gold of pure gold. The lampstands of pure gold. The lamps were pure gold. The snuffers, pure gold. Basins, pure gold. So everything. The tongs, pure gold. So the inside was beautiful and pure. Please remember, the outside of the temple was strong and beautiful. This one is pure. The inside is pure and beautiful. This is, I mean, this is such a great revelation that as even as we take care of our bodies and our exterior to make it strong and to make it beautiful is that on the inside we should be pure and beautiful this is what it means to be beautiful inside and outside so as you are taking care of the temple of the lord which is the exterior as we talked about the body now this is the spirit we're talking about the spirit your heart what is in your heart what are you watching what is it that you're filling your heart with what are you engaging in conversations about what is in your heart do you have more malice than love do you have more anger than joy do you have unforgiveness like what it is that you're carrying inside your heart the bible tells us that solomon built and furnished actually furnished the temple of the Lord with pure gold. So the inside was beautiful and pure, or rather pure and beautiful. The outside was strong and beautiful, but the inside was pure and beautiful. My prayer for us is that we would only do the things that will leave our hearts and our spirits pure, that we would only engage with things that will leave our hearts and our spirits pure, peaceful happy with goodness with godliness with self-control with kindness with patience with love you know all these good pure things that we will be known to be those that are not just you know beautiful on the outside and strong on the outside but will be strong and pure they will be strong and beautiful on the outside and we will be pure and beautiful on the inside that is my prayer whatever it is that you're doing whatever thoughts do that you're having whatever it is that you're engaging in i pray that whatever it is that you're doing leaves you pure it leaves you happier it leaves you more patient uh, like more patient than you were yesterday it leaves you kinder it leaves you polite it leaves you good it leaves you godly it leaves you with self-control like it leaves you with gentleness that is my prayer for you 
that even as we read the word of God, may the Holy Spirit teach us to be and to have the fruit of the Holy Spirit, which is now all those goodness, all that purity, all that, you know, self-control, all that patience. Is of it usote, that as we engage with the word of God, that the Holy Spirit will lead us to that place. And even for us, it has been intentional to only engage with things that leave us that way. Things that, you know, it doesn't leave a bad taste in your mouth, leaves a good taste in your mouth so then our inwards our hearts the actual temple of the lord which is our heart our spirit that it will be pure and beautiful thank you guys for listening to me and see you tomorrow